So what was in my head then is I shall not be moved. In the moment that I'm standing there, I'm thinking about that. We should not be moved and and, and sitting in my mind, putting my mind strongly on that. I think what made him turn around, he could see fear. I think he saw a strong person there. And he didn't see any fear on my face. When I was 20, Ezel Blair and the three other young men from North Carolina A&T in 1961 started the sit-ins. They were my first role models. They, they provided me with a, a picture of what it meant to be, in effect, what it meant to be a citizen. When the Freedom Rides started the next spring, I was very excited about that and went to a fundraiser that the Congress of Racial Equality had arranged. And I remember looking at my girlfriend, Winnie, and saying, I'm going. My parents were a young, hip couple. So the struggles that were going on in the South at that particular time and, and heard about on the radio, read about in Ebony and Jet. As a kid, you couldn't help but to, to be kind of conscious of the fact that there was something going on that wasn't fun and games, that was really, you know, serious. Because the music of that time was that of inspiration, hope. The Freedom Rides uh, actually was started by CORE, Congress of Racial Equality. The bus in Anderson was bombed, and the trailway bus went to Birmingham. That's where they would pull off, and the Freedom Rides were beaten. Jim Pack had about 50 stitches, closed his wounds, his head. And Governor John Patterson at that time refused to give any kind of local protection to the Freedom Riders. Explosive demonstrations rocked the North as well as the South as Negroes struggled for equal opportunities. And what really sticks in my mind, which I can all see them now, is white women with the babies screaming, kill them niggas. Kill them niggas. And the real test of nonviolence is not how much violence is perpetrated against you, but it's your response. How do you respond to violence? CORE decided that they would respond to Robert Kennedy's request, and that was to uh, have a cool and off period, rather than getting someone killed. When CORE decided 